Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. Let's say you're driving down the road and you see this sign. How fast should you drive? Well, probably 70, right? Now, let's say you go to a different country and you're driving down the same kind of road and you see this sign. How fast should you drive? Well, probably 55, right? Because the rules are different in each country, okay? It's the same with languages. Every language has rules, okay? That's where accents come from, okay? So people all over the world learn English, but they all have different accents. For example, a Russian person speaking English will have a Russian accent and an Indian person speaking English will have an Indian accent and a Spanish person speaking English will have a Spanish accent. The reason they have accents is because the rules in their language are interfering with the rules in English. Okay, so let's take a look at an example of some English rules. Okay, so in English we can have consonant clusters. These are called consonant clusters. What's a consonant? Well, in English, we have 26 letters, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, now, some of those letters are called vowels. A, E, I, O, U. But the rest of the letters are called consonants. Okay, so in English, we can have consonant clusters. Clusters means when things get bunched together, that's called a cluster. Okay, when you take two or three things and you put them together, you have a cluster, like a cluster of grapes. Okay, when you buy grapes, they come in a cluster. There's a lot of grapes in one thing. You don't just buy one grape when you go to the store, right? You buy a cluster of grapes, okay? So we can have these consonant clusters in English. Okay, now sometimes consonant clusters can't come at the end of a word. Okay, that's a rule in English. We can't have these consonant clusters at the end of a word, but we can have them at the beginning of a word. For example, strawberry, splendid, pray, drive, clap. Okay, now some consonant clusters we can't have at the beginning of a word but we can have them at the end of a word, okay? Like harsh, and, lips, ducks, harp. Okay, so here are some rules in English. Now, I have a friend who told me about a word in an African language, and that word is ksps, okay? Now, this word looks crazy for me because I'm an English speaker and it breaks some rules. Okay, the first rule is, well, in English, we can't start a word with the sound x. We can't, it's not allowed. Also, words in English need vowels. There's no vowels there. So when I see that word, it just looks crazy. It doesn't look like a word to me, right? Because it's breaking the rules. So if I'm going to learn this language, I need to forget about the rules in English and think about the rules in this language. Okay, so that's what you need to do. When you learn English, you need to forget about the rules in your language and think about the rules in English. Okay, so this thing here in English, it's called a screwdriver. Okay, screwdriver. But in Japanese, this is called sukurui doraiba. Sukurui doraiba. Did you hear that? They stole the word from English. Okay, but we English speakers, we steal words from lots of other languages as well. It's okay to steal words. Okay, but this is very interesting. Look what they're doing. Screwdriver. Sukurui doraiba. They're putting vowels in between the consonant clusters. Isn't that interesting? Look, there's three consonants there. S-C-R. Scr. They're breaking it up by putting consonant, or sorry, they're putting a vowel in between each of the consonants. Wow! So what does that tell you about Japanese? That tells you that in Japanese, 
they don't allow for consonant clusters. Isn't that interesting? And it's not just Japanese. A lot of other Asian languages don't allow consonant clusters either. So it's going to be very hard for Japanese people to, or other Asian speakers, to say this word, screwdriver, because it breaks the rules, right? So try to forget about the rule in your language and tell your mouth and your brain to think about the rule in English and try to do, try to, pr try to pronounce the word the way a native English speaker would pronounce it. So screwdriver. I know it's really hard, but I think with some practice, you can do it. Okay, so that's where accents come from. Every language and dialect has different rules. Now, if two people speak the same language, but it's different, then it's called a dialect. Okay, so in Canada, we speak English, but in Scotland, they speak English as well. But it's very different. They use different words. They have different expressions. They have a different accent. So we would say it's two dialects. Those are two different dialects of English. So let's say this is me here in the middle. This girl speaks English. She's from India and I can understand her perfectly. But this guy is also from India and, and he speaks English. When he speaks English, I have a really hard time understanding him because his accent is so strong. Okay, this guy is from England. I can understand him perfectly. But this guy is also from the UK and I can't understand him at all because his accent is too strong. Wow, okay, what does that tell you about English, right? This guy is a native English speaker and I'm a native English speaker and I can't understand him. This means you need to choose what kind of accent you want when you're learning English, right? A lot of people say, oh, I want to improve my English accent or I want to reduce my Indian accent. Okay, but what kind of accent do you want to have? English is a huge language and there's so many different accents. So if I can't understand this guy from England or Scotland or this guy from India, okay, then you need to really think what kind of accent am I aiming for? What do I want to have? So this word here in Canada would be pronounced radar, radar. But if you go to the UK, they would pronounce it radar, radar. Okay, look, I'm saying this R and this R, but over here, they're only saying the first R. This R disappears. Why? It's because our accents have different rules. Okay, so I want you to think about your own language and tell me about something in your language that doesn't fit with English, okay? I was talking to a Russian girl yesterday and she told me that the sound ng doesn't exist in Russian. You know, like in the word sing, sing, the last sound ng, she said that sound doesn't exist in Russian. So that's going to be a big problem for Russian speakers learning English, right? So that's an example of something that would be different between Russian and English. So I want you to think about something that's different in your language and post it down there in the comments. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.